In Jacksonville Beach, frustration at the city's only public boat ramp. Boaters blame the booming business at the Safe Harbor restaurant. Now local leaders are considering stepping up parking enforcement. News for Jack's reporter Ashley Spicer went to Mike McHugh Park and Boat Ramp and shows us the struggle over parking. The parking has always been kind of bad, especially on the uh, hot, nice weekends. However, now that uh, the restaurant has opened, it's getting really bad. Safe Harbor Restaurant is known for its delicious seafood and beautiful location. But anglers are aggravated by the restaurant's patrons saying they are taking their designated parking spots, which they need for their long trailers. Just probably six or seven of them. That were specifically for the boat? Yeah, for boat. Yeah, there's, there's cars parked in them. It's a small boat ramp, so I mean, every spot counts. You know, when you see a car parked, you know, where it shouldn't be when you have a trailer and you got to park a mile down the road, you know, it's kind of a pain. Oh, while we were at the boat ramp, we saw a police officer patrolling. Boaters tell us they haven't noticed any citations being given out, though, unless someone is parked in a handicapped spot. They hope police will ticket for the other parking violations as well. Safe Harbor does have a designated parking spot, but anglers say adding more parking would help. If uh, the marina over there would open a big field up back here as they used to, yeah, he can make a few bucks, but it would alleviate tons and tons of parking issues here. The boaters say they love the restaurant, but hope the city can come up with a solution so everyone has enough parking. Ashley Spicer, Channel 4, the local station. The general manager of Safe Harbor also sent us a statement saying they appreciate the city's efforts and support the city's efforts. The restaurant also wants to help make parking easier for customers and boaters.